Hey, okay, we're at 4C now. So up top, it was just a normal CDF. We're trying to find the probability or the area to the right of 1,005. Um, estimate the number of bags, which will be rejected from a random sample of 100 bags. So now we have a fixed number of trials. We have a known probability that the bag's gonna be rejected. We would just multiply. We would get about eight bags to be rejected. And then now, 4C given that a bag is not rejected so what's the criteria for rejection <laughs> what's your criteria for rejection so the criteria for rejection here is a bag of sugar is rejected for sale if it is if its mass is less than 995 okay so the probability of it not being rejected is going to be 1 minus 0 0.0766 Zero point nine two three four. Not rejected will be zero point nine two three four. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to have probability of not being rejected. Find the probability that it has a mass greater than a thousand and five grams. Okay. So we're going to set up our given and help that dictate us what probabilities go where. So we have the probability that a bag is not rejected, meaning that it is greater than 9.95 and greater than 1,005. Okay, so we have X is greater than 1,005 and X is greater than 9.95. Hmm, that's kind of confusing, isn't it? Well... Let's see what would happen there. If we have the probability that a bag is greater than 9.95, right? So we want it to be greater than 9.95 because we want it to be not rejected. That's way too skinny. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, but then the bag also needs to be greater than 1,005. The overlap here kind of supersedes whatever was in blue down below, and this becomes the probability that we would like to keep for, sorry, that we would like to keep for the numerator, okay? So we need to find the probability that the bag is greater than 1,005. Okay, so that kind of simplifies our numerator for us. And then that's all going to be over given goes down B low. So the probability of it not being rejected is going to be the one that we found over here. So 0 0.9234. Okay, so up top, we're going to have the probability that it's greater than 1,005. We've kind of simplified this right here. Okay, so we've simplified this to x is greater than 1,005. Okay, so let's find out how we would find that the probability is greater than 1,005. Let me move my diagram. I have zero space okay <laughs> so we need an area that is to the right of a thousand and five we're going to use normal cdf we're going to go from a thousand and five up to infinity our mean is a thousand and our standard deviation is 3.5 so let's do menu five five two our lower bound is a thousand and five our upper bound is infinity Oops, that's too many nines. <laughs> it might do overflow, I don't know. And then uh, 3.5. 0 0.076564. Okay, so that's my probability up top. It's going to be over 0 0.9234. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> um, I'm just taking the pieces that were already in the calculator, and I get the probability that x is greater than 1,005, given that it has not been rejected, is going to be 0 0.0829. <laughs> this is a hot mess. <laughs> 